Okay, the question is um, probing, WCS probing, and I think it was specifically regarding the override. So uh, let's use this example as um, something to kind of have that conversation. And feel free to ask questions if you have them. So let's talk about the setup here. So first operation, we're gonna machine everything. I didn't do all the tool paths, but think about like concentricity, right? So we'll get to that in a second, but the backside of this part does, you know, but, well, the chamfers need to be concentric to that, right? But let's say you, you could also have a, a, a bore that has to be concentric to that bore and that bore and that bore. So um, first operation, uh, now the, the setup, the WCS setup is set to, you know, this surface, uh, this surface, and this surface, right? So you can probe that location. So we're going to start off <clears throat> by probing that location to G54 in the machine. And we're also going to set G55 to that exact same number. That's important. So those two are going to be the same. And what I want to do is I want to drive my probe with G54, and that's never gonna move. That's always gonna be there. Now, my work is gonna be, my cutting is gonna be done at G55. So, and this is actually a good example. This, the stock is bigger than my vise, and I don't wanna take the time to set up a, a stop. I just wanna kind of take a tape measure and make, make sure it's mostly centered in the vise. So then the first operation I would do is a WCS probe. So I just picked the top surface of the stock and that probed in the X and Y. And uh, now I gave it a, a one inch approach and a one inch over travel. So that basically gives me a one inch that I can be out of, out of position. Uh, now, now here for the tolerance, you can just collapse it, but let's say that we actually, it's okay if it's, you know, 0.375, you know, one way or the other. Um, and then the expected size, I want to make sure it's within um, 70 thou. Okay. So that way, if somebody cut the material big over 70 thou, or if they didn't center this within three eighths, um, when we get over to actions, we'll make a decision on what we want to do. So out of position, stop with stop with a message, wrong size, stop with a message. So if they cut it bigger or smaller than 70 thou from the intended stock size, we'll get a, a message. If it's out of position more than three eighths of an inch, we'll, we'll get a message. Now the override, I think is specifically what this question was about. So WCS override. What is that? You can you can read this, but <clears throat> the override is the probe, you know, because the setup is set up from G55, so number two. But we want to drive the probe from number one, which is this location. They're the same location, but the probe never gets updated. And then here it says the WCS to be updated is number two. So what happens is most people that probe with their machine, they're used to, if they came, came and did this probe routine, they think the G54 is, or the G55 is going to be relocated to here. It's actually not. It's going to stay here, but whatever, whatever the stock was out of location, it's going to just shift it. So if the stock was to the right by three-eighths of an inch, our G55 would just shift over down here three eighths of an inch or let's say 300 thou or whatever the, the, the difference was. That's what trips a lot of people up is that they think because they're used to doing a whips probing that when they probe up here that their, their location is gonna get moved up here. So that's a pretty handy um, routine. We'll look at the code here in a second, but let's say we face, we do some roughing and then we do these bores right? Um, do those bores too. So in this 
probe operation. Uh, this is a geometry probe. I, I don't know why it's invalidated. I'll just run it one more time. So that's a geometry probe, which is here. So here we just picked that, uh, gave it a position tolerance. I'll just edit the, the um, we gave it a position tolerance of half a thou and we gave it a plus or minus size tolerance of half a thou. Now over in the actions, if it's the wrong size, I'm just gonna stop with an alarm. We don't have any like, if this, then, then that kind of, uh logic yet but hopefully that'll come so then you also have to go pick which operation drove that size so it's not smart enough to figure it out itself yet so we're going to pick that operation because that's what machined this bore and then we're going to say minimum update threshold so if you want to update the tool size you know what do you want to ignore so basically if it's more than two tenths outside of what it should have been, then go ahead and update this tool diameter. And then how much do you want to correct it? I'll correct it hundred percent. Okay, so that's that. I think those are two great workflows. Now, if we make this active and hide the vice, let's say we're just doing this side now. So we have, you know, I can make the, the WCS just top of the stock if I want, or a fixture point or something. But if the outside of this part was, you know, let's, let's say you had a plus or minus 10 thou on the outside of this part and you use plus eight thou, when you put it in your fixture, your bore here is going to be shifted a little bit, right? Let's say four thou in just the Y. So before we chamfer it, or maybe before we add a counterbore to the backside that has to be super concentric, we want to face it to expose this bore. And then we're going to come down and do another WCS probe. So inspection WCS probe. And then under edit, uh, you can make this tolerance pretty big because really what I'm trying to do is shift that location. And it's probably worth talking the, the second operation I have it set up at G56. No, G54 or uh, 5. Uh, G55, six, yeah. So then on the probe operation, I set up 55 and 56 to be the same in the machine. So what I'm doing is 55, I have drive the probe because I don't want that to move from part to part. But my cutting is gonna happen at, at 56. So as everything shifts, now, when I come down to do a, a chamfer, now when I come down to do a chamfer there, um, my chamfer will be driven off 56. So as everything shifted, my chamfer should be basically perfect, right? So what does this look like when we, when we post this? So uh, the probe, is moving around with G54. That's the location we don't want to move. Remember, we set up the machine to be 54, 55 are the same, but 55 is going to shift. Come down here, turn the probe on, safe move, and here's the probe cycle. So um, our material should have been, and you can look this all up in the Renaissance Flexion Plus Haas manual you can find it online um so the x width should be nine inches um i'd have to go double check the manual but you know we're giving it a, a one inch um clearance a one inch over travel um 70 thou 
that's our tolerance, right? So if it's more than 70,000, you're going to get an alarm. If it's out of position by three eighths or more, you're going to get an alarm. And then if these two are good, oops, uh, if these two are good, then it'll update uh, G55 based on S2. It'll update G55 to the new location. The center of it will be, you know, if it's if it's over a hundred thou, if the center of the stock is over a hundred thou, then your G55 will, will get shifted a hundred thou. <clears throat> Same thing for the Y. And then turns the probe off, moves up. Now, the next important thing is now when your next tool comes down, it's cutting with G55. Um, and then we can come down to the very bottom. This is our probe geometry probing. So again, the probe now is moving with G55 because we didn't do an override. And in theory, the, the, the feature should be accurate to G55, right? And that that uh, the um, location tolerance of half a thou, uh, that's going to be related to G55, which is where it should be. Um, so it's going to come down. It's going to measure that bore to be one and three quarters. Um, as long as the location is within half a thou where it should be based on G55, which is what coordinate it was that got cut. Uh, and as long as it's, let's say it was three tenths um, out of um, size, then it's going to update the tool diameter for 133. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, we got another meeting I got to jump to, but um, I'll send that your way.